Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. We are live a couple minutes just before the content. I have to run in like 20 minutes um, out of here. So, wanted to go through a couple things. Number one, um, we got an insane Insignia card yesterday that I wasn't even on anything social yesterday that I've just kind of woke up to see today. Um, this card looks absolutely incredible. I just got this one of four uh, player pick as I was kind of preparing for this video. I did the ultimate uh, cup. I recommend all of you guys do this. Um, it, it's it's super cool that EA is doing this type of stuff. I think it'll be awesome for them to continue this for the rest of the year. Um, if I play, you know, probably tomorrow morning, I'll end up getting three more player picks, which is nice. And then there's actually a couple team of the season players uh, thrown in there as well, which I think is really cool because at the worst, it's fodder. And you know what? You're probably not going to get a Cristiano Ronaldo or Neymar, but you can always hope for it. Um, and that's what's important. So we got end of an era Fabregas and end of end of an era Mata. I I think that uh, I think that both of those cards are looking very average. Um, if you're a fan of them, if it's sentimental to you, do it. Um, otherwise, you know you could also do it for fodder, something like that. But real quick, wanted to go look at Insigne guys because you know Insigne for me this whole entire year has had some of the best left stick dribbling in the game. I've always kind of talked to him about as like a player that. People can't really lock on to because when you get into the box and you start moving around with him, he's so responsive and so small that it's hard for a lot of center backs to get um, around him. Now, as it stands with him being 200,000 coins, I've not tried him. I think it's got to be in the top five SBCs of the year. Obviously, it's going to be super about your perspective positionally and what makes sense for your club. But just looking at what this card can offer you for 200,000 coins, I mean, it's incredible. I, I don't even know what this guy would be on the market, but... I think he would be a lot more than 200k SBC wise based on some of the prices that we have on the market. He has outside foot, finesse, flair, and long shot taker. These are the four best attacking traits you can have in FIFA. Um, he's five foot four. He's got the perfect work rates. Look at his dribbling, man, and five star skills with 99 acceleration. So the the thing is also like usually you look at a card like this and okay, there's gonna be something wrong in the shooting. There's gonna be something wrong in the passing. There's not, right? His shot power is over 90. His finishing is over 90. His short passing is 98. Long passing, 95, vision, 96. Um, he's got 99 ball control for that first touch. A lot of the time when you have um, a player who has bad or slash poor ball control in FIFA, when you uh, use the driven pass to them, they really struggle to control the ball. So with him having these dribbling stats and uh, being the 5'4", I think this card is going to be incredible. So make sure you guys do this card. You've got 30 days as well. Um, and we will get upgrades, but 83, 85, 87 is literally a joke for this card. I, I can't even believe the price of this card and how good it is. Um, the reason, the main reason I'm recording a 1 p.m. video today, guys, is also because we're getting one of my favorite team of the seasons. I think we're getting the Conmebol team of the season or uh, maybe the rest of the world or something like that, but we'll be checking those cards out. I love these cards. Um, usually, we get a bunch of Argentina and sometimes Brazilian players, um, mainly South American, so I want to take a look at those. In just about a minute but man can't wait to get on uh and you know i think ea need to keep doing this because our gameplay this year is so bad it's so defensive it's such such a terrible meta at the moment especially on next gen i think ea need to keep releasing SBCs like this because even an SBC like this makes me excited to play fifa right it does maybe it's going to be three games and i'm going to lose my mind but it makes me excited to play and i think it's important that they keep dropping these types of cards um so yeah end of an area and he's also on his he's you know he's going to be playing the mls next year so makes sense um I am going to back out now, and uh, we are going to get ready for the content here. I also think I have, like, three packs. I've also seen that EA have started to do untradeable store packs, which is, like, very interesting. We've never really seen something like that. So that that is questionable, to say the least. Um, we got the start of Combat Ball today. We've got Berdiso SBC. Um, he's going to be nice for probably Lynx, if you ask me. And he's got good enough pace. Should be no more than an 84 squad for him, being that he's a 90 rated. Yep, 84 squad. That's fine with me. 84s are literally like 2,000 coins right now. Um, so that's that. We've got End of an Era Schmelzer as well. And he has 3-star, three 3-star, three which is very poor uh, for this stage of the game. And medium high, which is also not great work grades for a left back. His card in-game is very good. But I'm not in love with the 3-star, three 3-star three and those medium high work grades. It's only 83, 86, which is not terrible. So if you're interested, you're interested. I am not interested in that card. Um, we've got an ultimate team of season challenge today, and then you've obviously got all these uh, swap tokens if interested. Now, we should probably go over to the team of the season tab to see, or live, if there's any new, like, SBC content today, because I don't want to miss that. We've got an Icon Moments player pick. Now, honestly, I'm not excited to see that it's four squads again, 
and it's really about the same release point and it's not repeatable um so that's definitely not ideal we would have liked to see like a rating guarantee or maybe a position guarantee um before we get in and take a look at some of the new cards um because this is content we're gonna we're gonna do one we're gonna do one guys we're gonna see what we get we're probably not gonna get anything and you know what guys that's fine i don't really care but we're gonna go ahead and do one because you guys know what time of the year it is and we can't be messing about um at this time of the year i also did like some of those swaps packs so this should not be the hardest thing for me to do i don't have a ton of fodder so what i did to save time on this video is that i went ahead before i i, I recorded guys for about five minutes and i bought a couple fodder uh players so we could kind of get this done quickly and not be sitting here doing SBCs for like 20 minutes um and then that way everyone's happy right we get to do a pack and uh it's just it's good vibes all around so we'll move tiago silva here now um we'll move Delic to center back we'll move uh him there and then we'll move tony cruz probably somewhere in the middle here i just had more cam so we need how much cam 45 cam we've got that and now we need a little bit more on the rating we still don't have that so let's try out doing holland for like let's say delict okay we still don't have it but i'm thinking for gosens we've got a chance here we still don't have it so this 89 squad uh is a lot obviously you guys can tell and so for that reason we're gonna have to switch out i think the uh the rating of the player that we use uh, and we're going to have to go with LaFont in net. So that works for me. Um, that works for me. We get to save Messi there as well. And uh, that's one squad done. I'm not really sure what to like expect out of this. I mean, I, I really feel like the weight on these hasn't been great. But I, I did see somebody uh, that I follow, Alan Avi. He got, I, I saw it on Twitter like on Thursday. I mean, this guy got Pele and, and Hullet in the same one. So as a creator, I'm going to go ahead and do it, guys. Um, just for that off chance that I somehow get lucky. And I probably won't, but you know what, guys? We're here, and we're doing this thing. We, we got nothing to lose. Now, I also do need to check Team of the Seasons because I probably will have some of them. And then, guys, the way I'm going to have to do this is I'm going to have to go up to the trade pile because I bought a few of each of these guys um, so that I could do this SBC in such an efficient manner. And you guys should be proud of me for that. I think I'm going to put in Trent. I, I will not use Trent. Bremer is definitely going in um like Trent is a great untradeable to have but I just I don't know will I use him I probably won't right so let's consider putting him in as well and we'll kind of see how the chemistry checks out here but yeah guys all in all man this this one for me from EA is poor um I think they've got to do better here this is just not good enough I think for 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 where we're at I think that they, they, they've definitely got to do better here and they can do better that's the thing like they could easily add a rating minimum it's not hard I think that EA is doing something that a lot of people on Twitch like to call stalling. And I think that EA know that they've kind of got the whole summer ahead of this game. And there's not going to be all that much they can they can really go out here and drop. So I think EA are aware of that. I think they're kind of milking some of these better packs um, till a little bit later in the year. Which does make sense, but obviously sucks. I'm very excited to see this new team. Um, I'm very excited to see the new team on the market. I'm, I'm, I'm super stoked. I love playing with uh, kind of these these different types of cards that we don't always get and they get super boosted i mean a lot of these guys usually in the con ball promo um are like silvers and then they just get these like insane upgrades and guys if you're a person today that's looking at like okay am i gonna do the icon player pick no you should not do this you need to do insignia first because i am almost positive that anything you get uh out of this will be worse than insignia so please take my word for it and listen to me because in this case i am right and you are not going to get that lucky. You're just not, all right? Even if you think you're going to get that lucky, I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to get that lucky, okay? So use your brain and don't be an idiot. Um, this gambling is not worth it. You know, especially if you're saving coins for some, a big player towards the end of the year. You know, it's just, it's not going to be the right decision for you, probably. Now, if you got coins to burn, you're quitting FIFA, obviously, this is a different scenario, guys. Um, let's go with Luis Alberto here. And we need chemistry. This is looking bad. So we need 55 chem, which is not looking great right now. We don't have anywhere close to it. And I said, oh, look at me. This is going to be so easy to do. Wow. Wish I could take that statement back because we are struggling. But you know what? I started this um, a couple of minutes ago. So I'm, I'm still on track to be okay here. I don't think I'm totally blowing it. Um, we're going to put Acuna there. We really could use PK. That would be huge. If I could use PK there and then switch the wingers, um, that'd be great. All right, looks good to me there. And then whether or not we have enough, we might have to go to the transfer list again, guys, because I don't think I have all that much. I've just got messy here. So I'm going to have to go to the transfer list and I'm going to have to send one more team of the season. And then we've got our ever so exciting Icon Moments player pick. Hopefully we get something good. Um, I think my last couple of runs with them have been 
quite mid. I mean, I got Yashin recently. I got Kafu out of a pack, which is pretty good. But my last pick was... Listen, the good thing about this pick that you guys are about to see is that... Number one, my off-stream luck is very good. Number two, my last pick was probably the worst possible pick. So, I f I'm feeling good, like, going in here thinking, okay, we're probably going to get somebody that we probably actually are going to use. Um, there's a chance for it, right? And you guys know, I will always throw in an icon in the team if I feel like he's usable. Like, anywhere close to usable, I'm that I'm that guy where I'll try him out. I love, I love using first owner cards. So, if I can get somebody that I feel like is usable, I'll do it usually. Um, all right, let's go Alan Arthur. Let's get the Mason Mount link here. And you know what? 83s might be a little bit low here, but because of the amount of high raise that we have, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay here, and I think we'll be able to do this quite quickly um, if everything goes to plan. So let's put Allen at the CDM position. Uh, let's put him there. We'll do this, and then we'll put Pereira over here. This one is a lot of chem, though, so let's focus up here now. And let's go Mason Mount there. We'll move Mason Mount over here to link with Havertz. I thought that would work a little bit better. Unfortunately, it didn't. Um, so let's go maybe John Stones here, and then we'll switch Mount. No, still doesn't work. Uh, okay. So this obviously works, but then we tank our rating a bit. Um, so that's obviously not ideal. Maybe we could do like this, and then we're literally off the rating still, though. Which is going to be a little bit problematic. So let's see where we can chuck him, and we'll go right there. And I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. And yes, guys, we probably overpaid some of the time for this. Um, but let's check it out. Let's see what we get. Without further ado, let's go, man. Can we get Puskas? Can we get Lucky? Figo. Oh my. Happy weekend to me. I love getting... You know what? I'm going to take Figo. I'm going to take Figo and I'm going to use Figo this week because I feel like I want to lose a lot of games of FIFA. I think that's a good idea for me this week. So Figo, welcome to the club. Luis Figo, four star, four star, high, low, 93 agility. All right. This guy is looking lethal on the wing. Who needs that flashback? end of an era Di Maria anyways right we've got Figo now so that's all that matters okay so let's take a look at the new promo team and also let's take a look at promo packs real quick it is that time of the year where I'm so happy to spend coins on packs and uh test these out for you guys man I, I love doing it uh do we have anything we've got these 84 star duo packs and there is a only a 6.7 percent chance at a team of the season and I guess there's like a small chance at the other so we'll do two. That percentage is horrible. Um, it's actually terrible. But we'll do two real quick. We'll see if we can maybe get lucky. We do get a big walkout. It's going to be Kaylor Nava. So this is obviously um, 70k. That we're not. We're probably right there. We've lost about 50k. But I'm happy to do two to check it out. And maybe we'll lose per se like 100k. I'm fine. I'm always fine with that. Um, and this is a small walkout. So that's my experience done there. Um, we're going to be done with those now. Always worth a try. Um, for the viewers and for you guys to see if we can get anything. But today, obviously, we didn't. Um, and let's go on to the market real quick. And let's check these new cards out. Now, obviously, the one for me that I'm really interested in is Alvarez because I watched his highlights a couple weeks ago. Obviously, you guys know he's going to Man City. He's a crazy player. Um, so I'm interested to see how they've done his upgrade. I know that his inform had had like a crazy card with pace. Um, he's not on the market. Okay, he's not on the market yet, which is interesting. Um, which is telling me that they've either, they're either made his price range too low or these cards are just like not even in packs. Let's check out Benedetto. Now, this guy was playing, I believe, at Marseille like a little while ago. He's got an 850k price range. What in games does he have? Wow, so he's got a five star weak foot. I'm pretty sure he has that on his base card. Um, but that's a very nice card. Five star weak foot. I'll say foot shot trait, and he's also got 99 composure, which is a really nice stat. Um, how tall is he? Five foot ten, medium, medium. All right, so hey, this card looks very usable. You get this guy, looks usable. Obviously, at 650k, you would have to be crazy to pay that price. We've got Kova. I'm gonna say it's Maurice, maybe. Is it Maurice? I don't know if it is. Yeah, I think it is. Um, He's also not on the market. Okay, so a lot of these cards are not on the market yet. So they've either not been packed or they are just like crazy cards. And you guys could say you could look at concepts. I just like looking at the cards in the market. So four star, four star, medium, medium for this guy. Nothing too crazy there. Um, we've got Catalan. We'll take a look at him. What is he looking like? Okay, so he's 70 rated. Not. Whoa. Wait, this guy is a five foot eight center back with high low work rates, and he has 93 pace. 
What is going on here? I've never seen this guy play in real life. That is pretty crazy. That's like one of the most out of position um, kind of like cards that I've seen. All right, very interesting that card there. That's not something you see every day with stats, work rates, and position. We've got Lertora, low medium. All right, so a lot of these cards don't look great. I want to see what Alvarez looks like. I think Benedetto does look very good. Um, I don't think he's on the market yet, though. He's not. So we're going to have to go look in concepts. What price range is his card? 1.2 mil, and he's still not on the market. Okay, so did EA do the madness and give him five-star skills? That's kind of what I'm wondering right now. Like, maybe he has five-star skills. Um, let's go and look at... We'll go to the league, and we'll do... Uh, I think we could find them under this. Let's see. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> yo, that card looks insane. Five-star skills with a four-star weak foot. High, medium, five foot seven. With 99 shot power. And 99 agility and 99 balance with 96 ball control, 99 aggression. So I also feel like because he has 99 aggression and 81 defensive awareness, he's going to be super jammy. Um, he's got high medium, 5'7". Bro, this card looks insane. I can't wait to try this card out. Obviously, extinct that 1.2 mil. Now I understand why. Because that's just that's a crazy card. Um, so we've got Sornoza. We looked at him. Rodriguez, 4-star, four 4-star, four high medium. All 90 stats. Wow. This is a banging card. I, I wonder how much he is on the market. Um, any other players we didn't really look at? We've got Plata here. 3-4. Not super interesting. Cota was 4-3. Got a goalkeeper. Torres, the left back. Cool. Um, so everybody looks really usable. Good right back here. A good center back with 86 pace. So W release from EA here. I'm, I'm also curious to see what this guy is on the market. Because this guy was not. This guy looks sick. Um, those stats are crazy. This guy pretty much has all 90s. Um, yeah, he's he's up at like 200k. The nice part about this team in terms of value is like they shouldn't be all that much. A lot of these guys are like super boosted silvers and stuff like that. So I think you could expect that these guys will be purchasable. I think that Alvarez is not going to be purchased. I think he's going to be so much. Um, so I think I think you have a I think with Dare, it's going to be a bit of a tough one. I don't think he's going to be a guy that you're going to be able to really pick up. I think it's just going to be too hard to get him. Um, last thing to mention as well, whether or not you guys care, the market has been dying. Um, I, I just looked at it like I just checked a little while ago because I had packed Modric on Friday. Um, and the market is just in the mud. And I don't think it's – I mean, I don't, I, I don't see it going, like, up a lot. So – just be careful if you guys are going on the market. I mean, obviously, like, buying players right now is just going to be tough. We're kind of getting to that period of FIFA where I would assume for the rest of the year the market is going to kind of just slowly go downwards. We're losing players. The market's getting supply. And all these cards, you know, yes, they're team of the seasons, but EA is going to probably keep releasing new promos, a lot of repeatable packs, and it's just going to keep draining people's clubs. I mean, we're getting to the time of the year where a lot of people, including myself, just kind of full send and do whatever um, because nobody even really cares that much anymore. I'm... I'm, I'm on the verge of... I'm looking forward to playing Volta Arcade uh, more than I am with Weekend League these days. I'm not even joking. So, I mean, that's where the state of FIFA is currently. And I think that you're going to start to see it a bit on the market. And we're also kind of getting to the time where, like, people just... You know, I, I, EA, the rewards that EA have kind of gone through and adjusted aren't really that crazy um, from, from initial look. So, I think that's also going to impact a lot of the player base and whether or not people are going to kind of continue to grind and be there. Um... You know, to, to really go ahead here and, and keep playing. Um, and I think that's I think that's a big deal. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it, guys. I mean, I think that's going to be it for this video. I don't really have too much else to look into here. I do want to see, did we get a new objective? Maybe we got a new objective. Um, usually with new promos, we do get, like, a new objective. I don't see any players, though. Back oh, yeah. Oh, wait. So, oh, this guy was on the market. Or did I was looking for this guy in the market, and he was, a, uh, he was an objective. So, there's another token in there. Cool. Now, he is 3-4, unfortunately, um, which is not super ideal, but it's not a terrible card, and 90 rated. It's also not the highest level of fodder. Um, Mata's 93, so that's a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching uh, the video today, man. I appreciate you guys clicking on it. Hopefully, uh, this promo interests you, and hopefully, if you guys do the icon pick, you get something crazy. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.